Hello everybody! Hi. Today I'm going to be talking about Pokemon Unite. More specifically, we'll be diving into why simplistic gameplay mechanics make this game so much fun. I've come from a long casual experience with League of Legends, so a lot of my views will be based on that, but I'll try to keep it light on the comparisons. Let's get to it, shall we? Real quick before the video starts, I just want to thank all my subscribers for getting me to 800. Every day we climb closer to 1000, so hey, if you're not subscribed yet, maybe consider giving that button a press. So, Pokemon Unite. From the game's original announcement to almost a week after it launched, I didn't really care much about it. But as my favorite streamers continued to give this game an honest shot, I finally bit the bullet and got into it myself. Getting into a MOBA generally takes a lot of time and effort, as you need to understand a lot about characters, strategies, objectives, yada yada, the list goes on. But with this game, I had it all down after about 45 minutes. This wasn't at all what I expected, but my experience with the game has been so positive that I thought I'd speak my mind on exactly what makes this a good MOBA for both experienced and new players. The first thing I want to talk about is the time limit. Many MOBAs are known to have games lasting anywhere from 20 minutes to almost an hour, but this game starts every match with a 10 minute timer. For the same reason as Splatoon's short matches, this helps me personally not take a loss as hard as other games. Going back over to League, the 10 minute mark is generally the point of the game where you and your team would finally be looking to take the first tower in any given lane. The short match times really make for action packed experiences that you won't find in most MOBAs. You get to stay on your toes and consistently look for something you can do to help your team, even if it's just collecting points from monsters. While we're talking about these points, let me tell you what the objective actually is here. Basically you just want to stack these orbs until you can run into your opponent's hoops and dunk them. This puts your points towards the final score of your team, and after a certain amount, you destroy the hoops and continue forward to the next ones. As I mentioned before, these points give you something to chase at any given point in the game, even if you've just dunked and the enemy hasn't come back to lane yet. These monsters you'll be killing for points are scattered along the lanes, and to compare this to League again for a quick moment, they've replaced the whole idea of minions marching down the map with something really neat. There are these Pokemon that give points for laners, as well as Pokemon that give buffs and points to junglers. In my opinion, this just gives more room to the high action gameplay I mentioned. Every monster is contestable for you and the enemy team, so sometimes you have to be careful about what you're trying to farm, but this kind of intensity is what keeps the gameplay engaging throughout the whole match. What's that? Not good enough for you? Well, here's a few more things that help you to always keep battling in this game. Ability cooldowns are tiny. Generally, even the long cooldowns are maybe about a minute long. Not to mention mana isn't even a thing. You can just cast your abilities whenever they're available. You also get to choose one item to take with you into the game, and this acts as a sort of universal ability that you can equip to any Pokemon. You can heal yourself, boost your attack temporarily, quickly jump a small distance away, all sorts of stuff. In a game like <coughs> League, you almost always have to wait upwards of two minutes in order to use a universal ability like this again, so it's nice to see that these are made really accessible in Unite. Lastly, in terms of game mechanics, I'd like to bring up the fact that there are no buildable items in this game. You never have to worry about gold, what items are good on what characters, or different item builds for certain matchups. This helps so much with allowing players to just figure out how their character works and play them as efficiently as they can in the action. But not to worry, if you're into all the complex stuff, there is a bunch of different combinations you can find just by choosing different Pokemon moves to upgrade when your Pokemon evolves. For example, I've only played Talonflame so far, and depending on the Pokemon I'm faced up against, I can opt to have up to two dashing abilities, or shoot for more damage and even some invulnerability. The way this game stacks up against other popular MOBAs is fantastic. There's far less to worry about, and you can play pretty optimally after only a few games. Hell, returning to base functions only as a healing mechanic because there's no extra depth to building your character than just leveling up and evolving your Pokémon. What I'm trying to say is this game is super easy to pick up and play. You don't need to look up items or strategies to know what you're doing, and because of how new it is, almost everybody in the casual matches will be just as new as you are. And if you're still completely lost, read through the tutorials while you play them. Everything you need to know is explained there, and it really does show you everything. Not to mention you get rewarded for doing it, so where can you go wrong? Anyways guys, that's it for me. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe to my channel because I'm doing this kind of stuff all the time. My name is Milo, and I'm out.